If you have been paying attention, you know the Beaufort Gyre has gotten stuck in the cold, fresh water accumulation phase for 20 years, when it's expected to reverse every 5 to 7. This was the story from Yale late in 2017, along with what they describe as a cold climate bomb waiting to release. This was half of the Ivy League battle of cold news, with Princeton on the other end of the table describing why every climate model projecting forward is flawed from a cloud cooling perspective, which takes on new meaning now that cloud nucleating cosmic rays have hit the modern maximum and are expected to continue rising. The idea of the gyre release has many cold aspects to it. There's the cold of the water itself, its lack of salinity making it easier to freeze, the disruption of the Gulf Stream and larger Atlantic circulations, which was recently pegged to be the driver of a major cold epoch known as the Younger Dryas. So, what is this gyre? It is found nestled in the Arctic near Alaska, and it can largely modulate the amount of cold, fresh water that comes down around Greenland into the Atlantic. It being stuck for 20 years has kept a major cold element of Earth at bay, incarcerated in the Arctic Circle, which makes you wonder how the global warming pause happened during this time. Earlier today, I spoke with Dr. Proshatinsky at Woods Hole, and he described how the fresh water had not released as of 2017, but that it had not accumulated much since 2016. So they began carefully monitoring the atmospheric pressure this year and have already seen signals that could lead to the gyre release this year or next. He announced that they are planning an expedition to the gyre region in September this year to ascertain whether those signals have played out in the water, where they will directly sample the region for freshwater release and the internal dynamics indicative of gyre phase. Just as the Princeton study takes on new importance in a cosmic ray epoch, the Beaufort Gyre Correctional Institute for Wayward Ice Melt takes on new importance in light of what we now know triggered a major cooling event on Earth more than 10,000 years ago. Mission upcoming in September. Until then, check the link below for some amazing data on the gyre. I thank Dr. Proshatinsky and ask that you do the same in the comment section. I will see you in the morning for the daily update. Be safe, everyone.